good morning what day is today today is the 23rd tuesday day 15 so we're basically halfway through oh hold on beyonce jay in the background before i get copyrighted um so we got a little jazzy today put on a full face we're supposed to be meeting important people i guess and i wanted to be cute um class starts at 8 30 a.m today and i'm listening to big brother in my ear trying to multitask talk to y'all put on my lipstick um yeah, so we're in the classroom for majority of the day today. We have 30 minutes on, uh, I guess by the doors, the ERJ-175 doors and everything else is classroom, classroom, classroom. Today is going to be bore snore, but hey, we meet the VP of in-flight and then some other lady lunch and a whole bunch of other classroom lectures. And we're supposed to get out at 4 o'clock today. So 8.30 to 4 o'clock is the day that we have ahead of us. Hopefully it goes by quickly. I need a haircut. I booked me a haircut appointment for um, 5.45 today. So hopefully we can stay on time and I can get to my haircut appointment on time. I don't know why I always put on lipstick before I go eat breakfast like I'm not about to eat it off. It's just a habit. But anyways, just wanted to check in and say good morning. Hope y'all have a great day. Hi. Good night, good people. It is 9.26 p.m. We just completed day 15. Low key to halfway mark. 31 days technically, but the last day is just graduation and a few chitter chats here and there with the union, I believe. Um, today, yesterday, I was just so happy about yesterday. Then today, I literally sat in a chair from 8.30 a.m. Really, when when the bus pull up? By 8.11. From 8.11 a.m. till 5.05, no, like 5.13. We were in the classroom, classroom all day. Oh no, we started off the first 30 minutes of class, we went down to the door trainers and they showed us the wrong way to do the doors. Which I wish they wouldn't have done. Which <laughs> they were stupid. You have to know your audience, darling. You cannot do that with our class. They showed us the wrong way. The what you should not do on the doors in this life. And I mean, I, I get it. You need to know what it looks like just in case it happens. Whatever. Just tell me. Don't ever use the handle. <laughs> now that I'm thinking about that, I'm like, we started off the day with the wrong way on how to do the doors and never went back. Never went back to the And our test is tomorrow. <laughs> How dumb is that? Oh gosh, training. And then we, um, what was the first thing we did? Uh, who came first, Lisa? Preston. Oh, um, um, Preston. On board. On board, oh, yes. So we did an hour with on board support, teaching us how to do service in the main cabin of the aircraft um then he bounced out then we did um that was an hour with him what did we had something else right after him that's when we had our it was supposed to be our eme stuff we did have half the eme stuff okay so we tried to squeeze <laughs> something bless you. you we tried to squeeze something in with the, the extra time we had and it didn't work so then the vice president of flight service um, came and she was really nice lady. Very, very nice. I have really liked the, the president of the company and then her, of course, there's a whole bunch of other VPs over this, 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 and this. 
but those I really genuinely like their whole vibe and their aura and you all I can do is hope and pray that that really and truly does trickle down through all the rest of these presidents and management and creates um what's the word they be calling um uh person um what's the name I was talking about today um we culture. had a mi culture thank you <laughs> help me out culture <laughs> hope that it trickles down from them to everybody else and just that culture of love and support and growth and all of that just stays and then we did a lot more stuff y'all i don't really know but we really sat down in the classroom f for all of today listening to lecture after lecture after lecture in and week three <laughs> like we not finished almost <laughs> like why wasn't this discussed at the very beginning mm -hmm. I should be practicing. You know why? Because next week I'm going to be on a plane. <laughs> Doing EMEs. Oh, wait till I get to that part, y'all. Yeah, I mean, I guess, and it, not that it was information that we didn't, we don't need to know. Like, we still need to know all of this, but it's like smack dab in the middle of us learning these aircrafts. You know, so it's like, you take me away from that for a day, and then you lose, like, it's like a day of losing of losing practice, you know, or keeping your momentum going. You know, like we've been, we've literally been flowing, CRJ, Embryer, ERJ, pause. Let me tell you about this cabin service and this uniform and this, this and this and your benefits. And it's like, this is irrelevant. <laughs> it's just like, this wasn't, really, I don't think this was the day for that, but. I don't have I to say you so. You gotta know your audience. Because <laughs> our class needs it. If we learned about something, we need to practice on it and practice on it and test on it the very next day. Yeah. Yeah. Don't put nothing else in our heads. So we've had a day off between learning it yesterday, teaching me what not to do this morning, and now I test on it tomorrow. So. That's why they all down there practicing right now. Yes, yeah. Half of the class is downstairs practicing and Brittany and I are just... <laughs> Good night, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> We're in the bed. We've recited it, you know, like... I'm good with hand placements. I never have issue with hand placements. It's just the, no verbiage. the verbiage. I got to get the slide indicator right. I did real good, though. You did? Yeah, I, did my, I just got to re... Remember, you did palm up for up, palm down for down. Oh, huh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, yeah. But we got us, we got assigned our our emergency. It's not, it's not, no, no, is it emergency? Nope. No, that no, event e EME. I had issues with this at JetBlue too. EME, Event Management Evaluation okay. is what it is. That is exactly what it is. Um, so, we actually get assigned them a week out. So now we end which aircraft we're going to be on and if you're going to be um, by yourself or paired up with another flight attendant because we fly one flight attendant aircraft and two flight attendant aircraft. And I got blessed. I'm by myself. And I have to prepare for a medical event happening. And the, we haven't... Brittany got medical too, but she's paired up with someone else on the CRJ. The two flight attendant aircraft. Yeah. So. <laughs> so. Yeah. We haven't learned medical yet though, so I'm kind of happy about that because so some people, so there's, there's ditch, decompression, ditching, security, security, firefighting, firefighting, extended delay, extended, boarding and extended delay, tar tarmac delay, medical, that's it, it's just six. Oh, six. Yeah, six fingers. Um, but there's seven 
they broke us up into three pair, three groups. So it's seven. So security is going to be repeated twice. But we actually have to be like the audience on the aircraft when our classmate is doing their their EME. And to me, that's very nerve wracking. Like. And the thing, for them to say things like, well, it's just like you're going to be on a plane. Um, you're going to have passengers on the plane. I'm not going to know my passengers. Yeah. I haven't spent two weeks with my passengers. My, you know, my passengers aren't going to be looking at, at me. At this point, at that point, yeah. it'll be four weeks. It'll be four weeks. Yeah. yeah. My passengers are going to be looking at me trying to like, oh, yeah, you know, yeah. Give, help, it, give me hints or whatever. Exactly. Our class is very helpful to one another. So anytime we're on the aircraft demonstrating anything, everybody is yelling at, no, you forgot this. No, you didn't do that. No, you know, and it's, it's out of them trying to help you. It's, you know, it's, it's not them trying to distract you or throw you off, but at the end of the day, it still distracts you and throws you off. So they're expecting our classmates to sit in this aircraft and not wink at me or make a face or give me a thumbs up, you know, and it's like, you just want to be in the zone. So but that's neither here nor there because I cannot change what's going to happen. So I have to do a medical on the Embryer 145. Um, I think I'll be alright. I've dealt with medicals before. Uh, yeah, just depending on what the scenario is. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm going to have to know where my emergency equipment is basically huh? like my on the CRJ yeah, you stuff. need to go look back over that stuff perfect the test that I failed <laughs> <laughs> wow <laughs> <laughs> but you get to use your 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 book so this is true you, you'll be fine we'll be fine I really wanted a decompression because for whatever reason I'm obsessed with decompressions yeah. Um, I mean, but a decompression, it's like, it's, I don't think any of them are easier or harder than any of them, but a decompression is like the easiest one in my mind because the plane drops, <laughs> oxygen mass drops, you know, you don't really have to think of, oh, what do I need to do? You get on oxygen, you sit down, fasten your seatbelt. And it's either rapid oh, or we slow. And then we flunk. We flunk. And flunk with decompression. Is it flunk with decompression? It's flunk with decompression. Yeah, and then we flunk. We What's flunk? When you're tell, I'm not gonna tell them. But when you're saying your commands, well, I can tell y'all flunk. It's an acronym. Fasten seatbelts. Um. <laughs> when is this test? Flunk. Fasten your seatbelts. Does it leave everything? No. No. Lean forward? No. No. <laughs> what is flunk? Fasten your seatbelts. Is it not flunk? Maybe it's not flunk. It is flunk. It's flunk. Look in the decompression thing. Oh, man. What flunk stand for? Oh. Y'all, it's this is how much you learn. You can't remember what you just learned yesterday. I just we learned this just yesterday. Flunk, fasten your seatbelts. That's all for the compression. <laughs> <laughs> the chapter little, fasten your seatbelts. What am I screaming at the people to do? Oh my goodness! Oh. Fasten your seatbelts. Uh, no. What did you do yesterday? Okay. okay, you fasten the seatbelt. L something. How, you, ah, how do you use ah. the mask? Fasten the seatbelt. You tell them. I mean, you tell them to leave the mask on. You tell them how to use the mask. No smoking, and you keep the captain keep informed. Keep the captain in <laughs> Leave the mask on. Duh. What did I, I say? Leave. No, I'm just. <laughs> <laughs> it was just. It was just wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Leave everything. <laughs> oh. Okay. Anyways, back to what I was saying. Decompression is is, and that's it. You know, after you after the cabin levels off, then you would get up. 
if captain says stay on oxygen, you can still get up, get your POB, check on your customers, check the lavatory, depend you <laughs> So, you ain't gotta fight no fire. You ain't gotta fight a fire. You ain't gotta twist and pop or twist and pull. You just. I would have been happier with the decompression because I feel like I could really succeed at that. With this medical now, I need to know if they're having a heart attack or God knows what. And I'm nobody's nurse. So, anyways. That's my little tangent for the night. Um, but we did do a very kind gesture. One of our instructors' birthday is tomorrow, and us as 21 classmates, half of our class, combined our little monies that we have and went and got her a gift. So tomorrow we'll present her with a, bit, a gift. She's so sweet. So, so sweet. Um, and yeah, y'all. That's it. Outside of the other little drama that be happening in trainings that has nothing to do with me. Um, I'm just staying focused. And, uh, keeping it moving. Graduation is August 7th. July. I keep telling y'all that. It's July 23rd. With that uniform tomorrow? We get our little stanky uniforms tomorrow. <laughs> just joking. I'm going to be so proud to wear that uniform. Uh huh. Uh huh. As long as I can get more dresses, I'll be very happy. Yeah. That's about it. So, on to another day, y'all. Oh, and I got a haircut today. Got a haircut. She did a good job. If I move here, she might be my Dallas barber. We'll see. Yeah. Thanks, Jazzy. Did you tell the people that, uh,. Some people got their base. <laughs> 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 Brittany just loves that, y'all. So, yesterday I told y'all that nobody in our class got awarded a base transfer. Right? Well, they stepped in today. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> They happily told us today that three people from my class were awarded Dallas for their base starting September. That's good news though. It is. I mean, it really is good news because by the grace of God, next at the end of next month, I'll be getting awarded Dallas starting October. In Jesus name so of course as y'all know everything in aviation goes by seniority so the top three people that bid for Dallas from my class were next in line on the the bid base list whatever the transfer list and I don't really know what happened they didn't say what happened I'm assuming people that did bid for Dallas may have forgot that they bid for it and didn't really want it anymore so they may have sent an email here there and there you know things went through the atmosphere it happened so they were like okay well we got three spots the top I don't know where it stopped it I don't know where I stopped it y'all it cut off um, but anyways top three people from our top three senior top <laughs> why can't I get this sentence together the top three senior people that bid for Dallas from our class got awarded the base transfer and I believe I'm like 14 down from those so if come next month Dallas is still open as a base depending on how many spots they have open this past month they let in 45 people which is cute so if it just depends I mean you know when they open up transfers there might be more snowbirds wanting to come back but hopefully it's not enough to, to keep me grounded too long. It's really it. Maybe I should do Dallas and commute for a little bit, stack my money, then transfer. To now Brittany over here contemplating trying to take my spot. So, she was happy with Chicago and she needed to stay right in Chicago. So anyways y'all, I'm really going to bed now. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to day 16. These are the ones I wanted. We're here. Oh, the, wait. It's a three online. Which yeah, Amazon? Oh, yeah. no, these are gonna be too high. 
Yeah, those look too high. Yeah. I mean, the what did it, what did it say? Three? It says three? Mm -hmm. That's what mine looks like. And That's they said it was three and a half. Don't work. Anyways, welcome to day 16. We're about to do ditching principles. Have a PV today. Haven't even looked at it since we learned it. But um, good luck to us all. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Teresa. Happy birthday to you. Hello, good people. Welcome to the end of day 16. It's 6:10 p.m. We got out of class 30 minutes early today. <sighs> I expect to set an hour. It wasn't. It. We were scheduled to get out at. We definitely did not, because we were scheduled to get out at... Five? We the shuttle was supposed to come at 30. six. Yeah. yeah. 30 minutes. We, we got out on time, basically. <laughs> Trying to play us. No, no, no. Anyways, y'all, we started the day off with... Um, we didn't do the PVs first. Ditching. Oh, we did ditching. We, um... Ditching principles. Which we, was cool. I liked it. It was... It was yeah, I love talking about a ditching and a decompression. Um, so we did our ditching lecture and we're going to have a test over ditching next week, Wednesday or something. Um, and then we did our procedure validation on normal door procedures on the ERJ 175. So we all passed that. That's cute. Good. Hallelujah. We were flying through that actually. Like, yeah, it our, took us like an hour and it was blocked for like two started, and a half hours. They started, they started at 1140 mm -hmm. and we finished at 1250, one o'clock. We, we was killing it. I don't think anybody had to do a redo. Mm -hmm. Um, so that's really, really good, um, because that's the hardest door, or not really hard, it just has, well, it's the hardest door, it has more components than the other doors do, call it what it is. And then we got our uniforms today, and luggage! Yes, I already have this exact bag. <laughs> more luggage! Oh, I forgot the uniform was in here. More luggage! Yes, I have this exact bag too. Got our uniforms. You know, I don't really think I went into detail with y'all about the uniform. So, of course I told you, training for a regional airline wholly owned. Um, so we'll wear the same exact uniform as American. Um, but American is actually changing their uniforms next year. So, the current uniform is like dwindled all the way down. And then they also had another, what, what would you call it? Not a replacement uniform, but like a uh, secondary uniform, I guess. Uh, 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 alternate. Uh, there we go. Yeah. They had an alternate uniform because there was just some issues with the original uniform. So they created an alternate uniform. So when it was uniform day last week or whenever that was, I tried on the original, but they were missing my size in a lot of the pieces. So I ended up transitioning to the alternate and I actually like the suit a lot better on the alternate, but with the alternate, I only get the suit jacket, the pants, a skirt, five white, button up shirts which is so annoying for me because I hate button up shirts anyway and then they're white so and then I only got one dress from the original line and a cardigan so you know they're trying they're really emphasizing to us you know to not buy extra uniform pieces because they're just going to be phased out um next March because the new uniform doesn't go live until next March um, but even still, like, I'm not wearing a button-up shirt ever, probably, other than graduation day. So, I'm gonna just have to buy some new dresses. That cute little blue cardigan that American wears, I didn't get to get that because that is with the original uniform and I have the alternate. And you can't, they won't allow us to intermingle the pieces. So, y'all just gonna see me in a dress all the time. 
and a scarf. And that's that. Brittany got a whole bunch of stuff, probably though. I mean, I just got what was required. I just didn't have to. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I thought it was ridiculous that my first option was two suit jackets or. Mm, yeah. Uh, one dress and one, one suit jacket. One dress and one suit jacket. Like, yeah. What? That don't even make sense. Like. Yeah, what? that's what I was asking um, one of the people that are on the uniform spa team, I guess. And I was like, why don't they give us the option? But that all boils down to contract. What's in the contract is what they have to do. So, But it would just make sense. Like, do you need two, would you rather have two suit jackets or two dresses? You know, the option is either two suit jackets or a dress and a suit jacket, but not two dresses. Like, you know, like... Anyways, one of the girls in the class did was able to get the um the long sleeve dress. Oh yeah yeah yeah. Chloe told me she got yes, the last I'm, long sleeve. I'm hoping she my walked out and I said, "Hey, I really had it in my size." Yeah, she's like, "I got the So one. yeah, so we got our uniforms. We'll wear this for like August, September, October, November, December, January, February, seven months, and then we get a new uniform, which really ain't that cute either <laughs> so we'll see what happens with all of that but that's uniform but for real for real if y'all want tote bag roller board let me know I'm willing to sell it um then we went over general emergency today no medical no first aid first, first aid. aid we went over first aid today which is a nice chapter in our book in our IPM and Brittany and I both for our EMEs were assigned medical so this was the beginning of us learning whatever procedures they might throw at us during our medical EME. Some people do fine honestly. I do too. I really think it'll have more to do with an AED or somebody having um what's it called? Choking, Heimlich? Heimlich. Oh, okay. You know, I think it's, or a baby, I think it's going to be something like that so that we can show, like, that type of procedure. Mm -hmm. um, that's my assumption, but you really never know. Um, and, yeah, then we have a test in the morning, and we did a review that really tickled my soul. Um... <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> <laughs> the review was it was good it was like the review was supposed to be so not to get nobody in trouble but some of the past reviews have just been kind of like reading a few a few questions that may or may not be on the test and us screaming out loud what the answers may be and then being like yes or no the review that we did today was more just like okay this is the topic Go read it in your IPM. You already know I went on that whole tangent about the IPM. So I just loved it today. I just stood there and smiled. Um, but yeah, that's really it. Like, we, I don't think we did anything else today, honestly. It was a long day with a lot, a lot of um, downtime today. I just don't think they really scheduled out our, our timing well today. But, you know, that's neither here nor there. The day's over. Tomorrow we have an early day, 6 o'clock class. Um, I'm going to take y'all with me. We get to go slide down the slide, so I'm going to try to get that um, on the vlog for y'all, just to see that. Um, and then I guess we do a whole bunch of... Oh, we have a test too tomorrow, first thing in the morning. First thing in the morning. Which I appreciate. Yeah. So, it's 6.21. I've been talking to y'all for like 10 minutes. Me and Brittany need to try to stay awake since we have to wake up super, super early. So, I'm going to read this IPM, go over what we have the test on tomorrow, make sure I know where my emergency equipment is located at on the ERJ-175, which is going to be my favorite plane now because the other two are just tight, small, and cramped, and old. And yeah, that's it, guys. That's all she wrote for day 16. We are rocking and rolling. We are almost out of this thing. Can y'all believe it? Like, training just started. It just, it, it just started. I just met you yesterday. Like, for real. Came in the hotel room and her bag was already here and she wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> I had the nerve to call her people. <laughs> <laughs> Who 
was already here. <laughs> oh, the blessings of the Lord, I tell you. Anyways, y'all, good night or whatever y'all watch this. Good morning, good day, good night. See y'all tomorrow. Okay, y'all, so I got the skirt. And one of my five. You know what you look like right now? School teacher. Nope. I mean, what is it? You know, uh. A priestess. Sister Act. A nun. Two? Yeah. The, the, the little young one that. Look, they call, they call, call what's the name little... in there? Uh, singing at the piano. And then. Who was Lauren Hill name? Oh, man. I ain't seen that movie in so long. Rita was her name. I like it, Alexi. But I'm not gonna wear this white shirt every day. I'm gonna put a camisole on. <laughs> I'm gonna put a white shirt on today. This is all the color that I have, y'all. Literally, this is all the color that I have. So does the scarf go around your neck or around the collar? Teresa has it around her neck. Okay. So, and they all kind of have it tied differently. So I don't know if there's any real tigerization for this. You know what? I like it. With a red lip? Yes, ma'am. And a bra. <laughs> it's just it's a lot of gray on gray y'all like it's really just a lot of gray on gray you have to wear the card again no but i mean the blazer i'm not gonna keep on 24 7 you know the it don't look like, the colors don't match yeah the grays don't match y'all see that Mm -hmm. Anyways, I'm not complaining. I'm just critiquing. <laughs>